I'm going to show you how to create your own custom chat GPT. I'm going to show you the platform to use and an example how I'm using it to build a product right now for my community. So let's get started. If you use chatbase.co, there's going to be a link down below. You can do this without coding. Now, this platform allows you to upload your own documents, link to websites, be able to load up Q&As to really have your own custom chat GPT. Now, this is important because if you're trying to give specific answers or you're trying to be in a very specific industry with all of your know-how, this is going to be perfect for you. Um, let's get started and just show you step-by-step -step how to do it. Once you create an account, you're going to give get an option to create a new chatbot. Once I click that button, I have four different options to add data sources. Now, for me, I added a mixture of all four, but you can just pick one to get started. The first one is the file. So you can upload a PDF, you can upload something where it can start scanning your information and start having this done for you. So it allows you to have an OCR. So it's going to be scanning, it's going to be able to read and look at what your information is, and then go from there. So if it's a PDF that you want to upload or a text document, you can do that. The next one would be having your data right here. So you can have your chat chatbot name and then data. You can drop in all of the different information you have here. And I would probably give it some kind of, I wouldn't just dump all the information. I would give it, you know, subheadings and everything like that to organize to make sure you have structured data right there. And you can do that starting with a Google Doc and then just copy and paste it and drop it in here. From here, you can go and also add a website. So you can crawl or, you know, really scan a website and it can get information so it can get more context to answer questions as well. That's your third option. And then number four, good old Q&A. Now here you can add the question and answer. This is really important because once you have a Q&A, maybe you have frequently asked questions and people ask you like, 50 questions over and over and over again. You can load this in here. So that way when there's phrases or something that uh, the your bot sees over and over again, it can give an answer that you have already provided. So you can give a question and you can do various uh, variations of the question so you can capture what people are asking. And then the answer, you can, deta you can have a detailed answer. Or for me, I've given a lot of sa the same answers be um, on my YouTube channel. So I can just copy over my answers that I've given that have been effective and then just bring it into my Q&A here. So once you have your chatbot all set up, let's take a look at my version right here. I have Doc's help desk. So it says, hey, how can I help? Uh, how can I help you? How can I help you with? <laughs> I need to change that. So how can I help you? Now, right here, you can say, I want to create a new side hustle. You can do a bunch of different things right here. And then it's going to be able to answer you. Now, right here, I want to create a new side hustle. It says, that's great. And then right here, it will talk. Now, once I have all my information, my main sources, then I can go into my settings and I can give it a name, give more details about the prompt, uh, find out, you know, change the model, what I want to use. Right now, I'm using G. GPT 3.5, uh, but you can switch over to GPT 4 if you want. Uh, you can change the temperature. So how is the how are the responses? Is it going to be more reserved or creative? Remember, if it's more creative, it's going to be a little bit off. <laughs> it can go off the rails a little bit. So you can dial it in based on what you want. You can decide where it's going to be visible, public, private, but embedded on a website or just private. Um, and then you can decide on the domain that it's going to be having, the rate uh, rate limiting. So limit the number of messages sent from one device on the iframe in chat bubble. This limit will be applied to you on chatbase.co. Um, will not be applied. So only on your website for your other users to uh, prevent abuse, which makes sense. So you don't want to make sure you want to make sure that people aren't just spamming it and using all of your credits and everything. Um, you can also collect customer information if you want. Say, for instance, you're answering a question, and then if you want them to, you know, follow up and let you, you know, you can say, hey, uh, if you want consulting, let me know, and they can fill out their information, or you can have them signing up so they can get updates, and then you can have them on your newsletter. You can do tons of things. And Chatbase just has an integration with Zapier as well. So that's pretty awesome.
Next up, we have the chat interface. Um, right here, the initial message. So I'm gonna change, hey, how can I help you? And just make it that simple right there. Um, I can decide to uh, have suggested messages right here. So I wanna create a side hustle. Um, I can also probably just add like, I want, um, I'm trying to pick the right no code for my project, for my idea, right? So now I can have something like that and they can see this as well. Um, that's a little bit long. If you look at how it scrolls across, I can make it a little bit shorter. I can probably just say, I wanna pick the right no code tool or something like that. I want to pick a no code tool for my, for my idea. There we go, tool for my idea. Now, right there, it still might be too long. I might just think about, hey, I need to break this down or make it a little bit shorter. I can do that, but again, I can have that. I can change the theme, update the profile picture. I have the profile picture right here of me, but you can change it out. I can also update the icon as well. And then when I'm done, I can save changes. And so once I save changes, I can share the chat bot and I can make it public or require a login for someone to use the chat bot. And that might be a good idea, especially if you don't want someone to keep spamming the link. I'm going to have this right here. And now I have, hey, how can I help you? Now right here, I still have a typo, so I can come back here. How can I help you? There we go. It'll probably just take a second for initial changes, everything like that. Okay, so that is how we can create our own chatbot right there. Now, like I mentioned, I'm using this to create Docs Help Desk. This allows you to have access to information you need from a group of no-code enthusiasts and entrepreneurs. I saw this first as like a, uh, almost like a group chat, almost like on Slack or something like that. I was using um, group app. But also what I kept seeing was over and over again, people just want answers. They didn't want to interact with other people. They just wanted answers based on um, my experience or just resources. So that's why this second iteration happened when I'm using chat base. Now, right now, the, the advantage of why I can have this is it's really about the different sources because I have multiple sources where I'm adding text every day. I have different websites. I'm having all the Q and A's that people are asking me. I can make this really custom and that way it has a similar voice in me. I also on the, in the settings, I started working on the base prompt. So it gives answers more like my style and the list goes on. You can be doing the same thing with your um, chat bot as well. And if you, by the way, want to join Docs Help Desk, you can do it for $5 or $25 a year. The link's down below. But this is something you could easily do. And this is where we go into that knowledge as a service, a cast. You can start charging people from what you know. And instead of, if they cannot afford your consulting rate, your one-on-one -on -one rate, or if you don't want to do one-on-one -on -one coaching or group coaching, this is a great way where people can have access to all the things that you've learned over time. You load this up and then you can offer this as a paid service. And really this would be a category of a cast knowledge as a service or a micro SaaS as well. And this is just the beginning because they have access to your, to the API, you can be adding uh, chat base if you're using LangChain or others to really already have that chatbot already built out. And it's an easy plug and play if you're gonna be using other systems. In the comment section, let me know, wh what are you planning to build? Is this something you're interested in? What questions do you have? What industry are, are you in that you wanna bring this into? Now, I mentioned a couple other things that are really interesting in the space. Um, Data Chaz brought this up, shout out to Data Chaz, brought out that Langtail. Uh, just came out with the world's first playground supporting a, uh, open API's new function calling. 
the summary is if you want to start experimenting what open ai is putting out and all the new things but you are not a coder or you are not good at coding you can use langtail to be able to look at all the different things that are possible with this you can easily visually start running some of these things so you can start seeing the benefits of um, what it offers, all of those things. And then later on, if you want to learn these things or be able to integrate this later on in a project uh, with a developer, just learning a little bit of uh, low code to embed this into a, a future project, you can be doing this very easily visually and then take your project to the next level. So this is really, ex really exciting. I'm interested to see what's going on uh, coming up, but this is a really, really interesting thing that you can start having to um, build out for your own custom um, chat GPT. Again, in the comment section down below, if you like this kind of content, if you want to know more about Chatbase or other uh, platforms to be able to use chat GPT or want to make money like how I release Docs Help Desk, let me know in the comment section down below.